Hey, my name is Brittany and I am with Teaching Mind, Body, and Soul and today we're going to be doing Digital Planning 101. So first off, what is digital planning? There are so many different traditional paper planners out there. There's Happy Planner, Erin Condren. I've had them all. Not only did I have them all, but I used them at the same time because none ever had the inserts that I needed to stay organized. I even got into bullet journaling for a while because I wanted to create my own layouts. Digital planning is similar to this, except everything is, well, digital. <laughs> um, Instead of flipping the pages of your paper planner, a digital planner is an interactive hyperlinked PDF. Um, my digital planner mimics the feel and aesthetic of a paper planner like you might be used to without having multiple notebooks that bulk up your space. A digital planner is uploaded to a note-taking app which allows you to take your digital planner wherever you go. Which third-party app should you use? In order to use a digital planner the way it was made to work, you're going to have to use some type of third-party app. There's a lot of applications out there nowadays for annotating on PDFs. My favorite to use with the iPad um, and iPhone is the GoodNotes 5. Um, it's one-time cost of $8 at the time that I'm posting this now and it's it's got a lot of different annotation tools and it's the one that I'm the most comfortable with. Others that have good reviews or are similar um, are Notability which is here and it is $3.99. There's just not a lot of options that come with it, not a lot of customization so if you're interested in, all, in that I like um, good notes for that and then there's Kami that you can use on your computer. If you have an Android tablet, an alternative is Noteshelf 2, which is about $10. Um, if you have the option for good notes, that's what I recommend, recommend but Noteshelf will do everything you need it to as well. So once you have downloaded the digital planner file, you're going to be able to unzip it within the file section. And once you have it unzipped, you'll be able to find the um, digital planner PDF. So in my specific download that I offer, this is the planner PDF, but we also have the stay connected. Um, this is how you can get in touch with me. These are all clickable links here. And then the terms of use, which is really important for you to read. Now is I'm going to go over to the share button and I'm just going to open it with GoodNotes. Notes, you'll be able to swipe through just like this. This is a landscape layout. I tend to like the landscape layout. Over here on the right hand side, we do have a home section. This allows you to get to the front page. This is the home button. Um, you can also find the index easily on each page, the stickers, the templates, and the notes. So no matter what page you are on, you'll be able to get to those on the right hand side. So let's talk about the index for a moment. Oops. First, you have to make sure that you do not have the annotate button fixed. You have to have it on non-annotation mode. So I'm gonna to go to index. Here I can pick from any of these following sections. We have the long range plan, student information, small group schedules, lesson planner passwords, professional development, meeting notes, upcoming meetings. We have grade book, individualized education plans. We have standards, we have behavior monitoring and then accommodation tracker. These are all the separate sections that you can go to easily from the index. However, you can copy a page from any of these sections and then put it into your monthly tabs. So on the right hand side, we also have monthly tabs. That way you can easily access whatever month you are in. Once you are there, you can also customize any of these blank sections. You can customize and create your own subsection in order for you to get to it. So this is completely customizable. In our monthlies, we do have an undated calendar. This is to help you so that you don't have, um, so that it never expires. You never have a section um, that you can't just recreate all over again. No more buying a yearly planner. Um, and this section here, you would have to um, change out this here. This is just for your reference of 2021. There is um, the dates for December, and then we have January for 2022 over here. Um, if you wanted to change that for the following years, you can certainly do so by creating a text box. 
We also have a weekly template. This weekly template looks like this. Um, it has the Monday through Sunday. Obviously, as teachers, um, the Saturday and Sunday are a little bit smaller. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be alerted when I post a more in-depth look of my teacher planner. If you want to see more, check me out on social media. Link is in the description below.